everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 18. Another week, we're back at it again guys, you know, our therapy session as always, weekly therapy sessions. I was texting my man that I couldn't wait for today because I need to get my, ch I need to get a lot of things out of my chest. <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things, you know. You might be one of the match though, still, I can say so. But as usual, I'm here with my two brothers, Amuk and Jax. And what were you saying today? As usual, man. Always here. Looking forward to this show. Yes, and Jack, what are you saying today? Looking forward to this show. I've been bagging football manager <laughs> during this international break, so I'm ready. Let's go. And of course, guys, you know, this week, this week we'll be discussing the England versus Belgium game. Of course, it is international week. England are playing tonight against Iceland. Hopefully, they can get these three points to qualify for the semi-finals of the UEFA Nations League. But then again, you never know because we have that Gareth Southgate in charge. We're also going to be talking about Rashford, Pogba and Greenwood being in the, in the media. Also, we will be discussing what Manchester United do for minority and black players in terms of support and defending them. We're also going to be discussing Woodward back in Oli as well. Well, we probably has to. Also, the match preview against West Brom. And also a few, few little games that we'll play later on. But yes, let's go straight into the first topic. England against Belgium, Belgium 2, England 0. Belgium qualifying to for the next round of the uh, UEFA Nations League, where England right now needs to get that win, otherwise Denmark will be through and take their position. Uh, how many, did you guys watch the match? Highlights. Highlights. Yeah, I did watch that. I watched, I watched the match, of course. Uh, again, another game where I thought it was just negative, negative tactics as well with um, Gary Southgate, playing two or three... But you know, basically, no, he played about five, six defensive players. He had Henderson in, in, in playing in midfield. He had um, Declan Rice. No real act or spark of creativity except for Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish was amazing in that game. Man of the match. But my opinion, back on to Southgate. England need a change. I feel like Southgate hit the ceiling. And that ceiling was when England finished third in the World Cup. From that moment there, I thought... Get a proper coach. Because yeah, we've got good talent. Change. We've got very good players. Remember what I said a few weeks ago? If Southgate doesn't come out of this group, then yeah, they can yeah. sack him and get him. Yeah, I remember because we were was, was actually complaining about him and his performances, how it's not because it's consistent with his performances up and down. Mm -hmm. Remember we said that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't get me wrong. I still feel like England aren't ready to take it to the next level. They don't have that chemistry that I don't they've never had there's a missing ingredient in that in that dish you know but, I think they've got it I feel what like what you think what you think you're seeing you right yeah. is the manager like I can point like, I'm not not that we don't like the manager but the manager missing the strategy they have like for example you see France mm -hmm. they've got this manager that knows the players the same way um, Southgate knows this French uh, these English players mm -hmm. like he spent more time with them he's been able to put what came up he was quickly to defend Pogba because he knows the player, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but not just knowing the players, there's also something that I believe that we could say tactics, whatever, but England missing. And the only thing I can point my finger, not the players themselves, because I still believe England are one of the best team in the world, not just Europe, in the world right now, it is. It's the manager. That, and maybe his staff that he works with i don't know what they do with his players well he's backroom staff like the backroom staff i don't know i don't know but all i can say is england got a very good squad and yeah. i believe in them so much but they can do better what interesting thing you said about the not having the right ingredients <laughs> and <laughs> you said you said of course maybe the manager yeah. To be, you said you mentioned what ingredients. I was thinking of food. Maybe he's not a chef. He's a guy that goes and he heats up his food in the microwave. He might be a microwave man. He's not a chef. He doesn't have the right Mac ingredients. Food. Quick, can it? He doesn't have it's the right ingredients to get the best, there. yeah, the best meal out. Of, you know, all purpose, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all purpose. Isn't it? He's a man that puts it in the microwave. You can tell, isn't it? Yeah, chew, chew. But yes, England are missing the right, the, the right ingredient, and I believe that ingredient is the manager. The right balance. You know, the manager to, to, to put in the ingredients to cook up that nice pot of stew. You know. That is the manager, and he doesn't have it for me, you know. He reminds me of our manager, you know, very defensive, clueless, you know. Every game you let, you come away with that feeling like, what is this? 
What is this? What are we? Even what, when you are we? you're not satisfied with your performance, mm -hmm. or there's something that just makes you feel like, ah. England got very good, good players. Squad. Very, very good. good players. Just the only thing that I believe England don't have is what's struggling for them is that playmaker in midfield, that centre mid. Bruno Fernandes type of player. That that playmaker, the, even the deep line playmaker, that, that holding player like just Kevin like, De Bruyne type of players. Those players that the X fan that the X do things together because. You, when you're playing Henderson, Declan Rice in midfield, and Eric Dyer in midfield, you're not really asking to attack. Yeah. I feel like England are, against the bigger teams anyway, they seem to be a bit counter-attacking, isn't it? Is they that are. similar to Oli's It's Oli. That's, oh, you just they want to try to secure <laughs> the back and then just break the team on yeah. the counter. Because they've got very good players, they're not just very good players, they've got Fast individuals mm -hmm. and, and very players. creative players that put on the ball and very some good technically gifted, gifted players, players as well. So mm -hmm. with all of that ingredient, I'm very sure of a good manager that has tactics. Because yeah, I right. still believe he's not tactically astute. Um, Gary Southgate, like he's been in the game managing for what over ten years, like Oli has. Yeah, and he's managed medio mediocre teams. <laughs> he's managed mediocre teams. <laughs> I don't believe he's got the right. Up there to be managing this team and take them to the next level. He's reached his ceiling just like the way Oli reached his season because Fred was the best he can do. True. He's reached his ceilings. It's time. I've been saying it for a long time. I've said True. it before when we had our last international break. Gareth Southgate needs to go. England need to find the next thing. The next guy that's got this, this knowledge, knowledge, football knowledge of international wealth and everything, how to make do things in the international scenes. Just need a very good manager. Oh, I'll put something to you. Wenger. Wenger for England manager. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why he not? knows England really well. Why he not? knows the young players really well. As and he knows how to put teams together, players together. That's one thing that he can't take away from Wenger. He's, He's great with young players as well, isn't he? Yeah. Like we've seen in the past how <clears throat> England under 21s and under 18s, the they both won the World Cup. Didn't they? Old, they won their World Cup. Yeah. 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 So England. we've got very good young, young players. Young stars. That's very good young players. It's Look, just we, ain't, we, ain't, we haven't got the right balance. That's all I can see. You said sit, um, the right ingredient in seasoning or whatever. Mm -hmm. How could you say right balance? Because I think we got the right players that actually can do the thing. Mm -hmm. But the structure behind these players put, put, in together, put together and do what they do, I feel like that's when you said you, you can feel that missing ingredient. That's one thing I can't really put my hands on, but I can tell you. If I could point finger at anything right now, I would say change the manager, bring in someone who is a bit... Like you said, inter knows a bit more about international levels in terms of uh, managing the international team because these are the players that t plays the play for you week in week out. Yeah, these are the players that play for you probably once or twice a month or in two months. Mm -hmm. So you go and how to manage this? But like that's what I said, the balance. It's it's hard for us to point finger what it is because you want to see the wrong thing, but the balance ain't right, mm -hmm. and it's high time for him to leave as well. But apart from that, what do you think of that match? Because um, it's disappointing. Yeah, Belgium mm -hmm. away from home. Sorry to cut you off, bro. Um, I feel like Belgium starting 11, they're a better side than England as a team. Individually, if you were to select them one by one, <laughs> it will either be a draw, maybe England further up. Yeah. But Belgium are a better side. I expected Belgium to win. They have a better manager than. I, I rate Martinez higher than I uh, probably rate Southgate because he's done. The more I've episode. seen, I've mm -hmm. seen, I've seen things from Martinez. Mm -hmm. You've seen Wigan, things. Uh, Wigan winning the FA Cup with Wigan. Mm -hmm. he's, he's done better than Gary Southgate's True. managerial career. Gary Southgate's managerial career was what? What was it? Middlesbrough got sacked, went to under England under twenty one for five six years, just doing that, and then become the manager. He doesn't really have that footballing knowledge or that footballing depth to be managing a, a team a team like England. One thing I noticed in this country, they intend to give individuals that high demand jobs just based on who they are or what they believe they can do. For example, South, 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 Southgate. I don't think he should have been the manager for England, but because no, he think no. he knows the players. But no, but the funny thing is that I get that when they hired him, I I got that they needed someone that knew the young team that well, he was gonna they was gonna bring them through. From the under twenty ones to the senior club, Pressure he's pressure. done that now. Mm -hmm. This is time to go. Like, but why didn't he cut it with this young players? That because if you know these players and you given the opportunity to manage these players, like we said, why can't you even win one trophy? Cut, it. cut something for this. At least, even if you leave, because 
Remember, he knows this place. This is the same individual that went to um, Zaha's house to talk to Zaha to play for England. So if you can do this, you probably know this place. But my, what we all upset about is that it's not just you doing something. Sometimes it, what you achieve behind what you do helps. What is the achievement that he rendered to this English team since he became the manager? What have we achieved? Third place in the World Cup, and that was it. That was the best. That was the best. And like I said before, that was the ceiling, and now it's time for that change to take us to the next level. Anyway, let's move on. Straight, we watched um, the Germany and Spain game. Let's talk about that. I'm hoping England will beat um, Iceland today. You know, fingers crossed. Fingers that we crossed. Some, something similar to that, what happened just today. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't watch the match because, like you said, I was really caged, but I watched the highlight. And my phone keep going off, going off, going off. And just seeing that scoreline made me feel a bit happy, though. As much as I feel like I'm a hypocrite, I like the German team way better than the Spanish team. But seeing the German team lose with a loss just remind me of Brazil, what they did in the finals. So it just makes me excited a little bit. But that should just let us know that we've all been counting out, counting out Spain. Yeah, but, but Spain don't even have that much players anymore. But they still got the ability to do what they did. <laughs> like, it's, I also always say Spain is like Barcelona right now. Yeah, they're like, the players, the, the players that used to be they're the still there. They're still doing it. Oh, mm -hmm. big up. They see, this is the difference between the Spanish teams, the German teams, when it comes to competition. They always got, like, I don't know, we would say with the ingredient, the seasoning, but they always got to stretch it and do it impossible but it's hard for you to see that from england it's really hard they did it yesterday in the brilliant style and fashion against one of the best teams in the world my first team in the world actually fran torres scoring a hat trick <laughs> the manchester city player doing well but that was the same earlier on before with spanish the spain national team they, they got young the players right? that they have is all young young really mostly young, so. young you know and they beat a very good German team. And they might be coming a new Belgian. Remember in Belgium, Boston, they saying they had all youngsters. People mm -hmm. saying, oh, these are just young kids. But here, the best team in the world right Spain's now. Spain's youngsters look good. They too. look good. They look, look very they, good. They look like they got brilliant talents. Mm -hmm. They got talented players. But yes, we move on. Now, guys, very, <laughs> very, very <laughs> important topic. You saw what happened in the media from probably from Saturday all the way Sunday all the way up to now. The involvement of Mason Greenwood being what's it called, being the player that was allegedly be the raper of holding a woman down and raping the woman and being put in prison on the false was it false in prison false rape allegations. Mm -hmm. People, the whole media are going around saying that is Mason Greenwood. Although one of the article did say the player was above the age of twenty. Sure on the twenty. Pointing out to that it was Mason Green, which I thought was it's a joke. It's a joke. You have Mox Rashford being attacked by the media about his investment in property and about how he, how he's probably trying. To, I don't understand. He's trying to scam or whatever X X Y and Z. And you got Paul Pogba who's been misquoted for an interview that he done after his match on the weekend, saying that he finds himself at a stage where it's it's a bit bizarre that he he doesn't have that much um, minutes to be playing. You know, he's not at his best form as he has been before. And of course, he, of course, when it comes to his national team, of course, um, obviously, it's a bit of a breath of, breath of fresh air because it's it's the mandem, like, I'm back home with the mandem, you know. But it never mentioned anything about him being unhappy with Manchester United or wanting to leave. He just said that, like, I find myself in a bizarre place where I'm not playing much, you know. You know, I'm not the best condition of, I've ever been now, you know. It's a bit weird, you know. And... I need to do better, you know. He admit that he need to do better, and I, I like that. And but, he's 27, 27. But the fact that it got spun again with people just taking <clears> one <throat> quote from there and putting the other quote from there, make it look like rah. He said he wants to leave. He's disrespectful again. You had the whole media with their agenda again. Those who hate Paul Pogba <laughs> bashing him, bashing him. But when they read the full interview with the full quote, none of them said sorry because why? Uh, they have an agenda. When you hate someone, you don't care even if you're right or wrong. It's called hypocrisy. They will never say sorry. And that's mm -hmm. what's affecting us as humans, actually. But the me media themselves as well, shame on them because they really are trying to provoke and attack black black players, black football players. And it's, and it's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's trying to attack the black people in the media. And I can, you can clearly see what this is. 
You can't be ignorant to it. You can see what this is. I know what it is. He knows what it is. And he knows what it is. But we don't say. When these names do mention Pogba, Martial, um, Greenwood, Sterling, I can mention more. I can say a whole lot of names. Whenever these look get on an article or a blogger's page about something that they did wrong or they didn't do wrong, the media takes it, makes a big deal over it because, I don't know, like you said, maybe because they're black players and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to use that mm -hmm. term because I don't think that's what it is. But if you sit back and think and just try to understand why certain people will get upset by certain information they get from the media. Now, we would get upset. I got upset seeing these so-called players on the media with the wrong um, news going on about them all the time. Mm -hmm. But when we got the same thing pointing fingers at this player for, you got a whole lot of players, they're doing it, but they've never made media attention for these things that they do. What's wrong with you investing your money as a young man in mm -hmm. property? You're a footballer. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to take you care are of the trying to make money, invest money. Okay. What if, I mean, love forbid it because I love this kid. What if Rashford breaks his leg and he can't kick ball for again? What did he do with himself while he was playing football too now? You probably even trash him even more if he never invested his money, money and broke his leg. Look at his black ex football player broke. Yeah. Broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What an idiot. He should have invested his money. You should be telling <laughs> you. Do you know what I mean, Jay? That's, that's same media people. The main media people need to tell your listeners, your viewers, that learn from this young man. Exactly. He's doing something amazing for himself, not just himself, but for the younger generation. Like I've been always seeing the past few weeks. Mm -hmm. My main concern right now is about the younger generation blast. Mm -hmm. They're confused. Not all of them, but majority of them are lost. And we, as the oldest, closer to these lot, need to educate them and teach them the right thing. So if you're telling me that I'm going to have to be talked about in the media because I'm investing money into a property just because I'm black, mm -hmm. that's scary. We yeah. don't be sitting here talking about this racial stuff because I can tell my mood just changed. I'm sweating. I don't even like talking about this. Cause Probably because the light is underneath him. That's why he's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, I'm just saying, isn't it? We don't like talking about this. We want to just come out here, have fun about football, talk about the positive things and stuff. Well, we but this is this. hard. We can't just let it slide. Mm -hmm. We can't not just let it jump. No, we have to mention it. Because this is what some people are looking forward to. Some people go on our show, on our channel, to see what we talk about. These are the things that we're getting, the views that we've been getting. Mm -hmm. And we thank you guys for that. Though. But we need to educate young people. We need to be putting on these bloggers. If you see a blog on, on the internet, on, on any website, that you feel like it's wrong, comment on the blog. 100%. Say that's wrong. 100%. And screenshot. And I'm happy that Rashford came out and spoke against the article. Because we all know Daily Mail... Useless, useless, useless. Fake news. Fake news. Some people. <laughs> Fake they news. Get one piece of the story and then create their story around that just one piece. Um, it's great that Rashford came out and spoke against what they said. Again, wealthy people invest in stocks, in properties, See? in various other means Stop of making markets. their money. So what is the issue with Rashford doing? There is no issue and there's... No point of even bringing that up as news. Like It's common sense. What else would he be spending his money on? Um, I feel it was good that Russia came out. But at the same time, what as a club, what are United doing to back these younger players? Because exactly. I feel it shouldn't be down to the younger players to come out and defend themselves. I feel like it should be down to Manchester United, Manchester United's lawyers and people of that nature to go on to those media outlets we got and structure. sue them. We have just Manchester England the structure for what we just mentioned. Now, I understand what you're saying, which is the right thing to do, mm -hmm. but we haven't got a structure built around these players to protect them like well, this, and it, it's really, really upsetting. Really bad. Let me say something about structure. It's, I believe, because we're, we're, we're hitting straight to that next topic, about what are Manchester United doing for these type of players, especially when they're going through all of this, because... The young stars, Patrick. Because oh, I didn't The young stars, brother. And I remember, like I said before, there's a structure there, but only for the, the right players that they, they, like. they like. They like. For example, Harry Maguire, <laughs> Mykonos. Got himself arrested. 
Try to bribe the police, yeah. <laughs> no, not even try. Definitely bribe the police, yeah. But as soon as he landed here, yeah, Manchester United had a written statement to back that guy. Mm -hmm. And what did the England do for him? They put him on the, the biggest channel they have. The BBC invited him and said, you know what, Harry? Come, come tell your story. So, so the whole world can see that you're innocent. Like, you did nothing wrong. You know, because at the end of the day, that was the worst re rehearsal I've ever seen in my life. Yo, he is guilty as hell. He's guilty as hell. <laughs> but Manchester United released a statement, statement to back him. But where was that same energy for Mason Greenwood? Mm -hmm. Where was that same energy for Paul Pogba? Yeah, where was that same energy for uh, for for Mark Rashford? You know, where was that same energy? If I was Manchester United, I would straight away, when I see my players are getting attacked like that from the media, I go straight out into the press conference and tell them that we do not condone any of these type of actions towards our players and we will be taking actions towards it because we can clearly see that there's an agenda towards our club, our players, and especially our black minority players. Cheers. It's been consistent. But no, because it upsets me because Manchester United released a kit about equality, black and white, that I, I bought myself. <laughs> but yet you don't represent it. You don't, you don't do it enough. You don't do enough to protect your own players who are black, who are getting racially abused by all sorts, by the media and all that stuff. So you get not just racially abused, but he also getting attacked, attacked by almost own. every other week by these media outlets. Mason Greenwood shouldn't be going through this whole situation as a 19 year old through his, by his own. Where the hell is our manager in this situation here? Where is Oli? Why is he not going in front of the camera and says, Leave our players alone, stop bashing our players, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, we will sue you, we'll take legal actions. No, no, For we right. have lawyers. Because they entertain the situation. We have the best lawyers in the world. They entertain the best the what is the situation. I feel like uh, with the Greenwood situation, rape is a serious thing, isn't it? Rape is a serious allegation, and serious they said allegation. false. It was and a false rape allegation. Until all the facts come out, I don't really want to talk too much on it. Because um, we till now we don't know who exactly he, it was. I'm not sure why Greenwood hasn't come out and said it's not me, or why May Knight have come out and defended um, him. Well, May Knight probably told Greenwood, don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. We don't want to say anything. But again, until the full facts come out, I'm not going to say too much on it. But it's very surprising. Again, if it comes out in the next couple of weeks, they reveal the player and it's not Greenwood. I will be very, very, very disappointed in Manchester United to let these rumours circulate for a period of days without defending Greenwood at all would be catastrophic and it's very bad management of these young players. It is but shameful. And it is a bad image. It is a bad image coming from the club itself. Guys. Definitely. What young players? Are, if I had a a, a, a son the age of 18 and I'm seeing all this happening, I'm not going to want them to go to United as much as I love the club. True. Because look how look how they're managing the young players. True. They're getting the young black players are getting attacked in the media, and the club are just True. sitting on their hands. As mm. a as an owner of the club, your players are your children. True. Your players are your children. True. As an owner of the club, as a manager of the club, as well, because they, they see you as a father figure. They are you investment. are they are your children. They're your investments. So you protect True. your assets and your investments. investments you know. Yeah, I mean, if you see someone pissing on your car or your asset, you won't allow them to do that. No. Stop letting people piss on our players. Mm, true. I'm actually tired of this. True. Defend your own. Defend your own United. You know? And I think I think the one player that I actually feel sorry for, and I hope Manchester could do something to help, just mentally, in I don't know if you'll notice it's been affecting him this season actually just tired, which is probably. probably. I hope they help him out. They don't, I hope they, don't they want really to. do something. But you write it? Sorry, continue. No, no, tell me where it is. You have to say it because there's not that much time on this. Pogba, if he wants to leave the club, it's bait. It's obvious. It's obvious. Mm -hmm. Every time he leaves Manchester for that international break, he has something to say. Albeit he's being misquoted and the direction of the story is going to the left as opposed to the right. Pogba what if, and Pogba's unhappy. What if, someday, if you want something from someone, you go do something to get what you want. What if we're doing all of this because you want something from this club itself that true, he hasn't true. got yet? That's a very good point. Because that's true. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we want to leave the club. He I, I believe he has love for the club. No. He doesn't want to leave like that. Like that. But, but we're some, it. something's holding him. Say, so don't go, we love you. But we're because, forcing it. Because, yeah, if you think about it, everyone else has left. 
Sanchez didn't want to be. He left. Mm -hmm. Lukaku didn't want to be. He, he left. left. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Pogba we know that Pogba don't want to be. But he's still here. So, so why don't our own fans there? acknowledge the fact that he's still here? So that there is something there that maybe he doesn't want to leave, but he's still waiting. So you know them ones, you know them, eh, them girlfriends that you cheat on several times when he came that to will tell you, if he cheats on me one more time, I'm going to leave him. And he just cheated on me and he, she didn't say anything on she's still, still there. there. Still thinking, should I leave or no, not? He did say he wanted to win trophy before he leave this club and the Europa or the FA Cup, for me, that's not something that That's not trophies. Bobo wants the Premier League. Cup winner, man. He wants the Premier League and the Champions League. And, and I still think he got an opportunity a chance to do it with the club. But we need mm. to change the structure of the club itself. And the only I don't, you know, I've, as much as I love United, as much as I rate Pogba, and I would love him to stay, mm -hmm. he needs to leave. If he wants to win titles, as only as our manager, we're not winning no championship. No, we're not, not winning no championship. Nothing. True. And to be honest with you guys, let's be real. The best thing is for Pogba to leave because regardless if he stays and does well, those fans will never appreciate him. In the media as well. In the media, he's been tarnished. He's been tarnished. Don't get twisted. He hasn't been the best. He's been inconsistent at times, but he's been our, one of our better players. Yeah, definitely. So before we hear Pogba, we need to be hearing Luke Shaw's had poor games. Mm -hmm. We need to be hearing Maguire's Maguire, been inconsistent. Rashford is inconsistent. Rashford's been inconsistent. We need to be hearing true. other players, but we true. don't. True. But we don't, you know? I hope it changed though. I hope it really does. Let's move on to our next one. Ed Woodward, you know. <laughs> Good old Ed, eh? Ed Woodward <laughs> Ed came Ed out Ed. to back Holly. <laughs> which, of course, I suspect that because he is the CEO, he has to be professional, remain professional, and say the most professional thing. Yeah. But he could also, I don't believe him because I know that he can turn on Ollie any day. He's of just course. saying it. Yeah, yeah, just saying it. He's just saying it. He's like, yeah, yeah, I back Holly, blah, 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 blah. But behind that, as soon as that camera airtime gone, you know, I'm gonna sack him if he does one more thing, man. Huh? I'm gonna sack him because my bed you told me to sack him because I don't listen to anyone here. But I listen to people outside the club. Do you know why I don't really <laughs> believe to what he said? Yeah. The timing says everything. Mm -hmm. When Oli was under pressure before that Everton game, all media outlets are saying, oh, if, if my United lose against Everton, Oli out, Oli mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. That was the perfect time for Ed to come in and say, listen, you man, shut up. Mm -hmm. Oli's staying. Mm -hmm. We have a, a plan going forward mm -hmm. and this is what it is. He kept quiet. I guarantee you, if we had lost against Everton, Oli would not be here. You won't. It's he the won't. fact that we won against Everton. And like I said a few weeks back, Oli will keep the job as long as he can lose. But then that critical moment when he needs to win, he'll win and then they'll keep him safe. That's all it is. You're right. You took it out of my mouth though when you said um Ashla came out before the ever match to say something. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say that. Mm -hmm. So whatever he said don't really like some of us fans might get excited because they hard from him, but we don't get faced because we just it's BS. Like whatever he said. Cause at the end of the day, you still keeping backing up someone that's broken every history that Ferguson made. Under this club, <laughs> he's breaking it though. Mm -hmm. We got packed six one, Old Trafford. We got packed four. Go we, we, we got packed four. In the this second time, second second season, in the row, we have on the worst start to the Premier League season. But the same manager is still there. Yeah. Like you lot don't understand. I've been saying it. Oli say yes, a guy. I didn't only got a special deal that me and you lot don't know about. Mm -hmm. And trust me. Ed ain't gonna let Oli go like that though. One last thing I'd say on that though. Mm -hmm. Ed has made it clear that Oli's gonna stay. As much as it hurts me to say, <laughs> just gotta back him. We gotta remain positive now because if Oli's not going anywhere, what else are we supposed to do? Just Until again we see another bad patch of form, a... then we, again we'll have to get on to Let me you from there. Don't say end of a bad patch of form again. It is going to happen. It's been Listen. continuing. Listen, we are that girlfriend <laughs> that gets down. constantly cheated on and just stays. <laughs> we know he ain't going to sack him. We're just going to be like, you know that nigga, that, stay. you're right though. When that nigga knows that oh, I got, I got, I've got that girl smashed, I'm about to do whatever I do, she's going to come back. You know that girl, that she knows you just bang another girl. And she caught you red-handed, which you know she's gonna bang the same night. Yeah, that's that's us and Oli. And that's just that's, no, that's our relationship with Manchester. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's our relationship with Manchester. We know Manchester is always cheating on us. 
We just one day we just wanted to be pick, say just pick me. For you know when you know you got you know just pick me. Just just pick me. I love you. That's you know? the love me back. Thing. Love me back because my shit I don't love their fans back. No, they don't. They don't. But let's move it straight up, guys. As you know, Manchester United has spent one billion pounds <laughs> since Fallas since left. Ferguson left on players. Yeah, we're gonna go through. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ask you guys, hit or miss? Yeah, okay. for all the signings that we've had since Fergie goes goes in, and from there we will assess what hit and miss. As a player or hit as a player, as a player, player. player. Oh, yeah. okay. so what we signed is their hit based on their performance, their career with us, okay. and Just whatever like injury, whatever. Just in general. So mm -hmm. let's start with um. All right, we'll start with who was our first signing since when Fergie left. Well, one and only signing during that summer, Fellaini. Miss. You, you think so? One million miss. What about you, Monk? I would say miss, but I used to like this player. But when when you said like um career wise at the club itself, what did you do or achievement and everything? I would say miss because he didn't really change the club. He didn't take the club to another level, and we spent quite a bit of money of the, for him that time. Miss. Do you know what? Yeah, you know I don't rate him in it. No, I know you don't. But I kind of think it was he was a hit because you know, um he was there for us when those big important goals. You know, mm. you know that route one football long ball, especially when that Van Gaal time, yeah. Mourinho time, the Europa mm. League, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I you, don't no, you, I'm not going to disagree you. You talk about Oli. You just mentioned Oli. Yeah. <laughs> That's Oli for you. That's mm. what Oli did, but we still don't call Oli a legend. So for me, it's a miss. All right. You know, you should like He it. wasn't that bad, but for me, he just changed the way we played football a bit. We started to play a bit more route one with the lady there, and it wasn't good. It wasn't all good. Right. Next player. We can't take, we can't do all of this. Okay. Why matter? No, that's, of course I would say. Just me, I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a miss, you know, because we never got the best out of matter. No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that though. Did you see the matter that you saw at Chelsea, I mentioned? Like, yes. Flashes. Flashes. But mm. he shouldn't still be playing for us. This was like years ago. Mm -hmm. Flashes. Ah. I'm, I'm unsure. Say, yes. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. Hit or miss? I'm a... I would say hit. It's a hit? Yes. Alright then. Just tell it. Cool. Next one. Luke Shaw. Miss. Oh. Miss for miss me. Miss me with Shaw, man. Miss yeah. Me. I like Shaw. I'm unsure about him. But, <laughs> but we just keep I'm not sure about him. Yeah, I'm unsure about, sure about him. him. Luke I, would say, I, would, I would say Miss as well, just based on one thing. The you whole career. career. Yeah. Because Miss had miss. a career at Chelsea. He came mm. to continue his career at United. You know, that's what I'm saying. I would say take. I would say hit for my talk. Oh. Next one. Daily Blin. Hit. Modern John O'Shea can play anywhere. Mm -hmm. Centre back, left back, DM, centre mid. But I don't he believe he's going to be so. He did not cut it at United. Oh, so why is he next to you? For me, he's the miss. He's a miss. He's a yeah. hit for me. He's bro. a hit, man. In my opinion. He did not cut it. He did not cut it. All right, next one. Matteo Damian. Definitely miss. Miss, miss for me. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, next one for now. Ramadan Falcao. Miss me with that. Definitely, Definitely miss. miss isn't it? Hella misses. Oh. <laughs> Morgan should like the bin. Miss me. This is all Van I'm sorry from Van Gaal. Because yeah, Moyes no, no, no. only side two players. <laughs> Matt 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 yeah. Nine marks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, next one was Angel Di Maria. Miss. 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 All right, then. The next one now. Um, Herrera. And Herrera. If we see the name, if we see the name, but we just said a lot of misses, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm getting with you. This is it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm getting with? Halfway for this, I miss a lot. You see what I'm trying to get into your, into your head? Whoa. Whoa, you see? So, where was I? Herrera. Uh, Herrera. I was a hit, man. Hit. hit. Come on, baby. One of my best players we signed over the last five years. I can't disagree. I liked and Herrera. I'll give it a hit, yeah? Now, we're getting deep now. Now that we've done almost all of... Anthony Marshall. A hit. Hit. For me. Hit in for the me. right position. Yeah. A hit. Hit. Mm -hmm. Striker. I, 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 I can't agree with that. For 50 that. million. Come on. I think you know. All right, now. Now we're moving on to Mourinho signing. Diego Dallo. <sighs> Time will tell, but I'm going to say a miss for now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say miss. I want to say hit. Because mm -hmm. I felt like the club <laughs> did not give him enough opportunity to show what he's capable of. Yeah. I would say not just him as a player. We've never had injuries problem a lot. But the club haven't given him opportunity. But from glimpses, 
would and he's a good player. I'm, I'm unsure. Ah, uh, Mo, carry on. I'm unsure, I'm unsure, I'm unsure. <laughs> ah, he's unsure on that one. Cool. Next person. Uh, who did I just say just now? Dalo. Dalo. Mm. So, Eric Bai. Miss due to injuries only. Mm. Same, Miss, but yeah, I still feel like Miss. he's our best centre back mm -hmm. if he can stay fit. Mm -hmm. I hate this but question now. He's just so oh, fit. I miss one out. Memphis Depay. Miss. Hit. Yes. He should have stayed. He should have stayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have stayed, stayed, but he's, he's a hit. Stay. You know what he's a hit at? His music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a hit for his music. He, he makes good what music, though. Oh, bro. <laughs> no, but I think he improved. He improved way better. Yeah. He left United. So maybe that was needed so for me to miss. Cool. All right, then we're still on Mourinho signing. Zlatan Iba Himovic. It's a hit. It's a hit. His first season was a hit. Mon season with us scored 20, 20 plus goals. Yeah. Come on, you dude. know me, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't like signing these old guys. The yeah, same way we signed Cavani. Mm -hmm. What's the point of signing somebody with uh, yeah, I get what you said, a view yeah. of oh. one year or two cool. years? Cool. You guys belong to every unit. Cool. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Cool. All right, then. Enric Mkhitaryan. Miss, as much as I love him, him. Miss. Hit. I mean, he's a miss to me. You know? No, no, no. He won the Europa for us. Player. He won the Europa for us. Yeah. You know how much he's like this player. Yeah. But I but did not see what, what you saw. What I know right? from this guy. This guy's the most favorite player in the world, you know? <laughs> Marcus Rojo. Uh, miss. <laughs> miss. That's his guy. Miss. Me, he's a miss. He I hasn't got, done anything got for us. Bro, it's a miss. Be real, he hasn't done no, anything I'm bro. That's what I'm saying. I like, he hasn't done anything for us. He's my man, but it's a miss. Cool. Um, ne next one will be... Um, this one's debatable now. Paul Labile. It's a hit, man. I don't care. The only man, the only United player that made team of this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a very long time. Yeah, yeah for a very long time. <laughs> so it's, it's a hit. It's a hit. But people, a, hit. a lot of you wankers will say it's a miss. <laughs> no, we do understand why you might think that. Yeah, because of performances, you do understand. Mm -hmm. But if you take, just think about, just think outside the box. Mm -hmm. yeah. Romelu Lukaku. So hit. It's a hit. Lukaku. I mean, it's a hit, you know, because he's done well, you know. I can't hear anything like that. Though. As much as. I got a few things that I dislike about him, but it's a hit. I didn't like the way he left, but it was a hit. It's a hit. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. If I missed out any player in the Sanchez. past. Oh, oh nice. Alexis <laughs> Sanchez. For me, he's a miss. miss. Straight miss, like I missed the train. What's worse than miss? <laughs> Whatever is worse than miss, that's what Sanchez is. Yes. It's awful. Yeah, like the way Sanchez. Sanchez misses his dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I don't want to talk about him. I suppose exactly. you can say his name, but I'm just missing miss. Yeah. Miss yeah. Really, man. Ooh, who else? Did yeah. I miss anyone else I'm, in the I'm past? Thinking, I'm, 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 thinking, I'm going into Oli's reign soon. I'm thinking. Because did I miss anyone in, in LBGs? I don't think so. No, mm -hmm. I haven't. Mm -hmm. And I haven't missed out anyone from Mourinho because I said every phone that he signed. Mm -hmm. All right, then now it's, we're into the socialist reign now. Mm -hmm. His first signing was Aaron Wan Bissaka. Hey. Hey. Daniel James. Miss. Miss me with that as well, bro. But I, I actually don't rate it no more. I no. can't say he miss potential. Got potential. Mm -hmm. It's just, for me, it's ongoing situation. <laughs> cool. Um, so cool. Um, Harry Maguire. Miss. So miss. Definitely Even though he's, one, he's our top two, one of our best centre backs, but he's overrated. Highly just because of that, what you just said, that overrated. Highly 80 overrated. million and oh. you play like this, Fred. it's a miss. It's a hit. Fred's Definitely. A hit me, hit. Definitely. Nah, I rate Fred a lot, bro. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Matic. Matic. Hit. Come on, man. Miss. It's a hit. Miss. It's a hit. It's a hit. I'm 50 50 with Matic. It's a hit. But I'm more of a hit than, than a miss. It's a hit. Mm -hmm. We're going by the back end of his career when. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand why, I understand why you're powers. saying it, because you don't like us signing these old players. Yeah, you don't mind. Mm -hmm. understand that. Mm -hmm. But if you think about what he did for Mourinho, not United, because I got this thing done for Mourinho, for me it's a hit. Cool, cool, Perfect. cool, 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 cool. Right, cool. Um, what else we have? So, oh, yeah. Um, the only signing. Only I've said Maguire. The James, Maguire, James. And James, what's it called? Um, Aaron. I know we said that. Um, who else did he sign this season? Um, what, Pelestria, man? Oh, uh, we can't even. We can't. Can we really. Just, we can't we, we just seen them. them. But I believe Cavani is going to be a hit. No, I hope so. Tell us going to be a hit. Tell us going to be a hit. No, we, we, did you forgot someone? Who? Bruno. Oh! <laughs> no, that's a hit, man. <laughs> It's a hit, man. We don't need to mention him, man. That's a number one Christmas special, man. Christmas special. Our Christmas Bruno. present, fam. <laughs> you get me? Because they like to buy us new toys all the time to make us happy for now. You for know? Now. Yeah, I think that's about it, isn't it? 
Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I miss. I don't condone violence, but the fact that Oli got back by Ed, if Oli misbehaved, find him, please do another riot on me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you see, guys, a lot of miss. No, that's so that it shows you the structure at the club. Everyone has been saying it for the last. And hundred before years. you said whatever you said, what did you say? We spent a while. A billion. How can you waste all that? And how you not spend a billion and just keep saying miss? We're not even sure about certain <laughs> players. Yeah. It's peak out here, you know. Director of football needed. That job play- advert has been out there for time. Yeah, I don't know. Even I'm interviewed. trying to apply. I'm looking at Reed, indeed. <laughs> I don't know. Like LinkedIn, I'd be searching Google Manchester United director of football post vacancy. It doesn't show. It's needed, man. It's I want to apply. So well, I can have an manager, interview. What was the first thing you signed? Who did you tell me? Bro, director of football. Director of football was the first straight person away. I got straight. The best, the creme de la creme. Right. That's just, we just, just answered the question you've been saying. Mm-hmm. Only is the Mr. Yes, so why has it done to change the structure around him at United? Nothing much, but just bringing the good in. vibes. Yeah. Good vibes, you know. Just the good vibes, you know. Passion, you know. And right. that fades away, though. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, does, it, it does. Away. It is now. But yeah, that's almost towards the end of the show, guys. We are playing Everton, I mean, West Brom this weekend. 8 p.m. kickoff. It was 3 o'clock, but now it's been televised. It's an 8 p.m. kickoff. It's not a pay per view match. You know, that has been scrapped, which is a good thing. Premier League has scrapped pay per views. You know, what, the 15 pounds? So, you see, our debate that day was right. Mm -hmm. We were spot on then. Yeah, backlash. That's what backlash does. So, So, I'm sure nobody was paying for it anyway. Good. Good. What are you thinking about this match against West Brom? We are playing them at home. <laughs> okay, do you know what? I actually read something about they didn't mention the players, but they say three three key players from the West Brom team will be missing this game. So okay. just because of that, I'm a little little bit optimistic. I'm not happy with I would say to win one 0 at least. James? I've been wrong every week. <laughs> I want to say we're, we're going to lose. No, you was, you was right last week. No, I said we You was right because you anything. said you was going to lose to so you want to be wrong. So the free cheat. <laughs> Reverse psychology. I'm gonna do the same this same week. We'll lose against West Brom and fingers crossed we win. <laughs> Me, I'm gonna I'm gonna straight away say we're gonna win so we can get the opposite of so we can lose. Because I believe if we lose that game <laughs> <laughs> Oli should be gone. <laughs> he like, should have stayed. If we lose, I'm joking. I want us to win. Nah, I want nah, us to win. I want us to win. I want us to win. That's what I said. But I still want Oli out. No, but nah. Oli ain't gonna lose against West Brom and go. If Oli lost the, mm. the Champions League match against team that can't even say the name, I don't even know. I have to read. I have to read it and say Istanbul, 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 Istanbul something. The what? What the other name? Like, we, yeah, you see, we know who not. That's the other can't say. Oli can't beat that team, but he's still there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, guys, it was a very good show. Yes, <laughs> as always. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Amok, Show's again, good. where the hell can they find you? Pretty flop, man, underscore 16, don't know. On the Jeez. Instagram, that no. And Jex, where can these people find you? Jex underscore United, Insta. Don't know, guys. And remember, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, share the video. Let us know what you thought, what your hit or miss was as well. Mm-hmm. Let us let us know exactly what you thought. Let's play a little game on the on the mm-hmm. comment. Your comment yes, yes. Yeah. guys. Also, what your opinions are on Rashford and Greenwood mm-hmm. and Pogba's situation in the media. Mm-hmm. Remember, guys, you can always follow me on Ivory on the School Spice on the Snapchat, also on Instagram and also on Twitter. And remember to follow the official Red United account on Instagram, which is Red United TV One. You know, and remember guys, as always, keep it united and remember to keep it red united. We out. Peace out.